Welcome to another enjoying at watercolor lesson. Today we're going to paint this monkey, and I'm going to show you the techniques to paint the fur. First, I'm going to do a little drawing to figure out the composition, and we're going to leave a little bit at the top over here, and the chin getting down over here, and the ear is a little bit off to this area, like that. Make the ear look like a little bit shape, like that. All I need is here is the highlight. I'm gonna paint and lift the highlight inside the iris. Let's wash this. And this is the outside. Outside the nose is is it's a little bit softer. So I'm gonna use the water as a masking. Right? I'm gonna have this coming down over here. Okay, now I'm gonna start working into the background. Okay. I already have lots of blue color here, so all I need is to get some yellow color and maybe a little red. I already have enough red color. This is good. Now I'm going to move, loosen the color a little bit more. It should be a lot of yellow already. So this is good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take about, think about this color that's very dark, okay, like this. And this is a little bit green. This is good. Now I'm going to start, put the color over here. And I'm going to have a little bit water. Just tap on it. Get a little bit water in here. I'm going to get a little bit blue. And because it looks like a little bit more of the uh, bluish. Now here you go. Now I'm going to start uh, paint around over here. Okay. Now this is called consider the first round. And I'm going to focus on the outside edges. And I'm going to put that color in here, coming in over here, a little bit softer, like that, going on top of the nose. And using this larger brush, it really helps. Now I'm going to go get a little bit more the blue color. And be careful, those I uh, need to pay attention to. And then come back to that when it's still wet. I'm gonna get the red and the blue color together. Now I'm gonna start dropping in the little bit darker color over here and darker color at the bottom over here. Okay. There go. Now have the color in a little bit like that, a little bit soft. And here you go. I try to create a little bit more contrast by dropping a little bit darker color in here. And here you go. Now I'm gonna start. And also the outside over here, I'm going to get a little bit red color, get a little bit warmer. I okay, over here, there's a little bit warmer. This is good. I'm going to put that color over here too. And put some dark color on the top over there. And a little bit darker on this side. Here you go. And this will be fine. And maybe a little bit over here, like that. Okay, this is good. Let it soft that's just fine now this is very critical now what i'm going to do i'm going to come back over here in a little bit all the water is going to coming down coming down to the bottom right so over here i'm going to make the brown color but have a little more orange color and this is a good color i'm going to immediately coming into here you see that now the soft edge now it created and here you go a little bit soft edge over there at the top I'm gonna have a little bit water like that, make it a little bit lighter, here you go. Now make this a little bit softer, here you go, like that. And a little bit over here, and that is gonna fade away, this will be fine. And that will be the wet, wet into wet softness. And the top over here, I also take this, now make it a little bit softer, like that, and the edge. Yeah, and that's just very wet. I'm gonna come back a little bit later. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this color and gradually coming through over here. But don't touch that uh, yet. Okay. okay, coming down over here. Here you go. Now you see the top over here, very soft. And that could create that uh, feeling. Now the bottom over here, be very careful. And what I'm gonna do uh, at this point I'm also going to come back over here to um, create that, that lift up a little wet color. Okay, here you go. Now, see how I do it when this is still wet. 
let's use use this so we remove the excess wet and coming back over here keep doing that and make it a little bit softer and now getting a little bit dry already i'm going to come back over here to do it a little bit more quicker okay now all we are focusing on is just the outside edge and yeah make it a little bit softer look they're here coming out um here you go a little bit softer over here It may not come out with the way that you really want it, but you at least try to make it a little bit soft feeling. There you go. It may be too early. It may be too late sometimes, right? Okay. Go. Go a little soft edges. And also the top over here, a little bit soft edge. You can just wash the edge, make it a little bit softer. And sometimes you need to put the water into it and add the, have the soft, like outgrowing effect. And that would be fine. And the top over here, now I'm gonna also make the soft edge over here. Now I'm gonna actually pick this color and put it over here. And I have a little bit soft edge right in the top of the hair. Now over here, I need to also lift a little bit more. And on the back over here, Let's create that, a little separation. And don't forget the bottom over here also needs some attention. A little bit orange color. So we can see this a little bit softer, connect to the outside. We also have some soft hair over there. Okay. And soften that too. This is very neat, lots of focus. And now I'm going to have this uh, click of brush coming over here, I'm gonna just add some color coming in. See that? How you can actually the outside is still wet. So now you can create some edges. Okay, like that. Go. And a little bit edges over here too. That that's a little bit feeling of edges. Okay, still move the color coming in here. And that's good. At this point, I'm gonna quickly cover the uh, the color on the forehead. I have the yellow color and let's put a little yellow color right here. Like that. And have a little red. Okay, that's too much red. So now I'm going to come back for a little bit more yellow and put a little color right here and that's good. That and also some yellow color over here too. And we're going to come back with uh, the try to keep the freshness right and I'm going to coming up over here softly blend the color in. And some detail we can do it better do it later and have a little bit more yellow that this is good have a little yellow in the forehead now i'm going to come back to the entire maybe on the eye here first i can screen your eyes to see how uh, dark the color and in here in the shadow i'm going to put that screen your eye it should be darker not really that light. And here you go. Now I'm gonna wrap around the highlight. So here you go, right here. A little bit darker, like that, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to have the water to soften that coming down here. It's still in the shadow, so you need to be darker. There you go. And uh, add, have a little light, Ridge, uh, have the light line over there, and we're gonna come back to do a little bit more of that. I'm gonna have that a little bit of this color coming, continue coming down over here. See a little bit texture, and have the nose here, the shadow, like that, right? Coming over here, 
and here you go that is good i'm gonna also have a little bit and uh, brown color and a dark brown color niche right in here and the edge that make it feel like there is the, the some here the soft here right there and inside over here you can make that also darker and see that very soft so you can do that wet into wet okay that's good that and a little bit like that that's good some clear uh details we have to do that a little bit later okay here you go so we can put a little bit color at the lower part of the mouth this for and at the same time if we do that we also put a little bit suggestions up the here like that over here okay okay here you go and i'm coming over here i'm gonna do this Oh, that edge is good. I'm going to make it a little bit color, a little bit darker, a little bit more red and a little bit yellow and makes it a little bit brownish color. Okay, that's just good. And maybe a little bit blue. Okay, now uh, take a look at that. Wrap around over here and also use this click of brush. Uh, just painting the dark shape outside the light shape. Okay, that's good like that and we just ping around to create the illusion up there right here we can come back to do more details but just give it as much suggestions as we can okay, here you go. now this is the, the underneath i have a little bit yellow color a little bit more here you go this a little bit softer yeah. And we also can paint the outside of this light shape like that to see if we can make this work. If this doesn't work, we can change to different technique a little bit later. Okay, like this. Here you go. I'm going to paint it a little bit, the longer line, and a little longer line. And you have that I mean down here I'm going to change that a little bit more gray color you got a little bit more gray coming down that's good a little bit more gray this that's a little bit soft under the chin this is okay now we can just go in the finish looking for the overall color for the body. I got a little bit yellow, almost like a warm gray color. That's just good. All right. Just cover that in the body. A little bit like a dry brush. Go into it like this and see a little bit gap, the white gap in between. Okay. We need to have enough contrast between the inside the eye over there and the highlight. Now I'm gonna take little color around here and let's see like right over here and also the bottom over here has a light line i'm going to keep that light line that's good that and that's good i'm going to have a little bit more blue and as well as a little bit brown so i have this a little bit darker on this side here you go like that, a little bit darker. That's good. Like that. Here we go. Now I'm going to have also a little bit more blue in the center. Okay. And right here. And I have a little bit gap like that. That's good. Like that. Very well. Have a little bit wet into wet. Now on the top, it's already look great in the inside the eye over there, right? Now I'm going to have even darker. I have a little bit more red and the blue color together. So whenever you feel like, oh, I need to have a little bit more self-encouragement. All right, let me finish something and quickly and easy. And here you go. Got a little bit more red. And this, the dark color. Put it dark. 
now coming inside the eye over here. Click up. Now I'm gonna have a little big shape on the top over here. Connect to the eye. The corner over here. That's good. Okay, and seeing the inside over here. Up a little bit. And that's good. I don't want to paint that on this side because it's going to make it fade into that. We need to keep a very clear uh, edge. Okay, over here, I'm going to have that a little bit darker. The bottom over here, that's just good, like that. I'll come back to do a little bit more later. Okay, now I'm going to inside the eye over here. Here you go. If you want the brush to uh, uh, produce a little bit more clear, you don't want to use too much uh, paint. I'm gonna come in inside over here. That's good. Like that, that looks good. Now I'm gonna take a look at the iris. The inside here has a pupil. Okay, here. That is beautiful look and analyze it and do it slowly okay don't try to do it too fast that's good a little bit on the top over here coming in a little bit make the highlight a little bit more natural okay that's good and mush this together that will be the color for the face and maybe a little bit more red okay a little bit more yellow this is good. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little dry brush. Let's take a look. Let go some of the wet, and here you go. Like that, and open it up. Have the brush open up, make it a little bit randomness. And here you go. Now I'm gonna take a look over here. That's good. That, keep going. That's good. A little bit rough texture. This is good. Now I think the timing is here. I'm gonna take a look and here we go. Now I'm gonna start scratching. See that? See that here? Now showing very clear edge. 